In this video you are going to learn purchase price allocation. Topics I am going to discuss are, what is purchase price allocation or PPA? Components of purchase price allocation, and, example of purchase price allocation. Let's start the video. In acquisition accounting, purchase price allocation or PPA is a practice, in which an acquirer allocates the purchase price into the assets and liabilities of the target company, acquired in the transaction. Purchase price allocation is an important step in accounting reporting, after the completion of a merger or acquisition deal. The currently accepted accounting standards, such as the International Financial Reporting Standards or IFRS, require employing the purchase price allocation method for any type of business combination deal. It applies to both mergers and acquisitions. Previous accounting standards only required PPA when there were acquisitions, not in mergers. Components of Purchase Price Allocation Number 1. Net Identifiable Assets Net identifiable assets refer to the total value of assets of an acquired company, after liabilities have been deducted. Identifiable assets are those, that have a certain value at any particular point in time, and those that have clearly, reasonably quantified benefits. These assets represent the book value of assets on the acquired company's balance sheet. Identifiable assets may be both tangible and intangible assets. 2. Write-up a write-up is an adjusting increase to the book value of an asset, that is made if the asset's carrying value is less than its fair market value. The write-up amount is determined when an independent business valuation specialist completes the assessment of the fair market value of assets of a target company. 3. Goodwill Basically, goodwill is the excess amount paid over the target company's net value. It's the difference between an acquired company's purchase price, and the fair market value of its assets and liabilities. From an acquirer's perspective, goodwill is critical in its accounting reporting, because both US Space GAAP, and IFRS require a company to re-evaluate all recorded goodwill at least once a year, and record impairment adjustments if necessary. Example of Purchase Price Allocation Company A recently acquired Company B for $10 billion. The book value of Company B's assets is $7 billion, while the book value of the company's liabilities is $4 billion. Therefore, the value of the net identifiable assets of Company B is $3 billion. The estimate of an independent business valuation specialist figured out that the fair value of both assets and liabilities of Company B is $8 billion. This finding implies that, Company A must recognize a $5 billion write-up to adjust the book value of the company's assets, to its fair market value. Finally, Company A must record goodwill, since the actual price pay for the acquisition exceeds the sum of the net identifiable assets and write-up. Therefore, company A must recognize $2 billion as goodwill. If you want to read in details and download the PDF, go through the link in the description. If you find the video helpful, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.